What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about globus hystericus, that lump in the throat feeling whenever you get anxious, all right? It can cause fullness. It can feel like something's lodged in there, stuck in there. I'm going to be talking about this, how anxiety can cause it. But you know what time it is? Smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. And if you are new here, do me a huge favor today and subscribe because I have tons of videos like this to help you with your anxiety. So first of all, guys, you got to go see a doctor to rule out anything. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to play doctor. I'm not here to diagnose you. But once you've been told that it's anxiety, that there's nothing wrong with your throat, it's time to move forward with acceptance. And one way that we start accepting that anxiety is causing a symptom is knowing how anxiety can cause a symptom. And there are two main reasons why anxiety causes that lump in the throat, that tightness, that fullness um, in your throat area, the globus hystericus. The first one is more obvious. It's tension. You can experience tension anywhere in your body, even your throat, okay? Um, there's a likelihood that you've experienced this tension or this lump in the throat type feeling in the past, but you didn't really associate it with anxiety. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to hold back tears, but that has always made me get a tightness in my throat. Um, trying not to cry in front of somebody, getting your feelings hurt, um, going through a stressful situation, maybe a breakup or a death in the family. It really did a number on my throat and it would just be more acute and sporadic. But whenever I developed anxiety, I would have this for days at a time. It would freak me out, made me feel like I had throat cancer or something was lodged down there. It would play tricks with my mind, made me feel like I was choking or gagging. Um, I would get worried whenever I would eat my food because I was scared that I was gonna choke because my throat was too full or that my food wasn't gonna go down smoothly. So I definitely dealt with that. Another way that anxiety can cause this is through acid reflux because anxiety does increase the amount of acid that we produce so that acid can creep up here and cause the same sensation. So what are some ways that you can find relief from globus hystericus? One way is through yawning. That can really loosen up the muscles in your throat. So a good way to do this is to exaggerate every yawn that comes your way. You can try mimicking your yawning as well. Do that and see if it can give you a little bit of relief in the throat. Another thing you can do is to mimic chewing or slow down chewing whenever you eat your food. Exaggerate chewing. Maybe get some sugar-free gum to chew on. That can also loosen up the throat. It'll also loosen up the jaws and pressure in your ears if you're dealing with any of that. Sometimes anxiety can cause some pressure in your ears. Breathing exercises have been known to relieve tension in many areas of the body, including the throat. You can search tons of breathing exercises. There's all different types for everybody online. Correcting your posture has also been known to loosen up the muscles in your neck. So make sure that you have your shoulders back, your head, your jaw, your throat is all aligned. Cold showers was a go-to for me whenever I would have symptoms that really bothered me. It would give me a break, an interruption. I would try to stay in there for at least three minutes. It would shock my system. All I was worried about was how cold the water was. It was very uncomfortable, but that's the whole point. I would get out and a lot of times I would get a lot of instant relief from my symptoms, at least for a few hours after. Lastly, this is my favorite. Stop giving it negative attention. Stop giving it focus, okay? Your goal right now is to show the subconscious that this tension in your throat is not important. How do you do that? Stop confirming to it that it's a problem by saying, oh, this sucks, please go away. Oh, stop, I hope I'm not dying. I hope this isn't throat cancer. You wanna show your subconscious that that tension in your throat is not needed. But if you made it this far in the video, go down below, let's put an awesome affirmation. Globus, move over. Comment, Globus, move over. Be sure to go down below in the description and in the first pin comment and grab my anxiety recovery course, Elite Anxiety Bootcamp. It shows you how to get past other symptoms aside from the Globus Hystericus. I had hundreds, if not thousands of them. I recovered from health anxiety. I recovered from panic attacks. I was having multiple panic attacks a day. It's my blueprint. It's what I did from the moment I woke up until I went to sleep to recover from anxiety. It's helping so many people. There are reviews on that site. Go check it out and grab that today and start your recovery process. Other resources are down below. Remember to like this video if you got value and subscribe if you are new. More to come. Thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, guys, keep fighting. I love you.